What's going on YouTube? Coming at you with a new series. This series right here we're gonna call Let's Get Serious because from here on out, we're gonna get serious about everything. Get serious about training, get serious about our diets, and just get serious about transforming into a new you. Now I've, I've already started and from the footage, that shoulder footage, you see the intensity of the workout. I'm still sweating right now. Got the cardio in. Do not stray away from cardio. Cardio is a must. Follow my lead. In the next 30 days, we are going to transform into a better us. Physique is going to be on point. Diet is going to be on point. Most of all, our mental state is going to be on point. Because why? Because we are setting a goal today to carry on for 30 days some seriousness. Seriousness about everything. That's why this series is going to be called Let's Get Serious. Me, myself, I have to get serious. I've been slacking myself. i kind of been going through the motions, but that stops today. From here on out, I'm getting serious about everything. And I want you guys to join with me. So, if you want to join with me, participate in these vlog, uh, these, these, blog, these vlogs, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to be giving you each workout, and I'm going to be explaining what's happening inside this workout. The intensity is up. The, the rest periods are low. We're going crazy. Like, I'm excited about this. I haven't been this serious about anything in a long time, and I'm very excited. No, I'm not prepping for anything, but I'm just prepping to be better. Just to be better at everything that I'm doing. I want to be better in the gym, out of the gym, and I want you guys to be better with me since you are part of the family, X Factor family. So, salute to the X Factor family for rocking with me this whole eight months of YouTube. And so now I want to. I want to get serious about YouTube and I want to give you guys something that you can follow. I want to give you guys something that you could log, you can document, and you can transform with me. So let's all transform ourselves. Let's get better. Let's stop playing around in the gym. Let's stop playing around in life. Let's stop playing around with our diets and let's just get serious. So this is Let's Get Serious, episode one. Stay tuned for episode two. Enjoy the rest of this video. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. They trying to take away from a nigga, fucking with a kid and pray for your nigga. I got. What's going on, X Factor family? Coming at you with day one of the Let's Get Serious series. I have not done a series in a long time, and I'm so excited to bring you guys this. This is me transforming my body in 30 days, and this could be you transforming your body in 30 days. So with these commentaries and with these videos, I'm going to be showing you and running you through day by day how I'm shredding up, the workouts I'm doing, the reps, what I'm eating. Just give you everything. You can follow it as a guide, and you can transform as well. Let's talk about this first exercise. This is the clean and press what I'm doing here is 10 sets of three. So I'm using moderately heavy weight for me. You pretty much want to fail at that last rep. That third rep should be a grinder. And I, this clean and press, you don't have to do a clean and press. You can do an overhead press. Uh, I think the best alternative would be the overhead press. I just want to throw a little bit more motion in there. So I went ahead and did the clean and press. This was a crazy work uh, exercise. I'm not a crossfitter but i know this is a crossfit movement and it's, it's pretty hard i only use 155 pounds so 10 sets of three get it in moved on to some um side lateral raise with the dumbbells and what i want to tell you guys is that you only want to rest for 30 seconds in between each set only 30 seconds right here i'm doing uh six sets of five so i'm going fairly heavy i think i'm using 40 to 45 pounds going extremely heavy for the usual and I'm hitting five reps so six reps I mean six sets five reps and only 30 seconds rest in between it will get it would exhaust you I hope you guys are ready for it do your best try your hardest and just get it done moving on to the third exercise it was a front raise with the dumbbells this right here you're doing five sets of six so six reps on each arm, five sets. Now what I want to talk about also with this commentary is how we'll be eating 
I would be drinking, our nutrition, everything. So make sure with these workouts, they'll be very intense. You want to make sure you're drinking a gallon to two gallons of water every day. Do not worry about water weight. That is irrelevant. Make sure you're getting all your water in. The more water you drink, the more weight you will lose, the more fat you will lose, and the more fuller you will look. So make sure you're getting your water in. As far as the carbs go, what I'm doing is I'm going, I'm having three three different carb days. I'm having a low carb day, a moderate carb day, and a high carb day. On my, for right now, on my low carb days, it's 200 carbs, 200 grams. My moderate would be 250, and my high will reach no more than 280. So that's for me. Talking about these shrubs, we're doing three sets of 10, extremely heavy, 110 pounds. This workout will have you sore. It should have you sore. If, you're, if your shoulders, your traps are not sore after this workout, you're probably not doing it right. So do it right. Go extremely heavy. Like I said, three sets of 10 on those shoulder shrugs using the dumbbell. Now here's a little, a little different movement. You can't really notice, but I'm pretty much pushing my arms in a wide direction. So that's why you see I'm only using 30 pounds here, two sets of 15 I'm pushing a wide direction. This next angle will help show you the uh, the direction of my arms, but I'm going in a wide direction. It's like a victory shoulder press is what they call it, I believe. But yeah, you want to do a slow and controlled and you want to hit 15 reps. So this is only two sets, 15. Make sure you warm up as well, not counting the warm up sets, but don't just press your arms straight up. You want to press your arms out in a wide direction. So also, like I was saying with the carbs, I'm doing the low, moderate, and high. You have to find out what your low will be, what your moderate will be, and what your high will be. Everybody's body is different, which I will explain later on in the video. But you have to fig you got to figure out what's best for you. This last movement right here, I was doing 30 reps, one set of 30. And so each arm I did, I started with two reps. Two reps on the left, two reps on the right. Then I did four reps on the left, four reps on the right. Then I did six reps, then I did eight reps, and then I finished off with ten reps. Within this exercise, I took about three to four breaks, and that is because 60 pounds was extremely too heavy for me. And if you didn't know, this is the um, upright row, dumbbell upright row, focusing on you can get some rear delt, you can hit the side delt, and you also can hit the front delt with this exercise. But yeah, 60 pounds was way too heavy for me. I should have did 40 or 50 uh, I took extremely too many breaks. I took three to four breaks, and that's not necessary. You want to, and my form was compromised as well. So you want to make sure you choose the correct weight for you. Whatever weight will help you to push it to the limit, but also to not to run through this exercise without dropping the dumbbells. So focus on that, and so talk about talk more about nutrition. Simple sugars. So I'm no longer intermittent fasting. I'm eating in the morning. I'm eating breakfast. And my breakfast will consume will consist of a protein shake, probably just one to one and a half scoops, and a banana. So get my simple sugars and get some protein in after a long night's rest, seven to eight hours rested, fasted, no food, no protein, wake up in the morning, get all my nutrition in. So I'm also going to be taking my vitamins in the morning. Uh, probably take a multivitamin, a fish oil, and then take another one later on. Also my calcium. So with this exercise here, hitting some high intensity. We're doing high knees, or you can call them sprints. We're doing that for 20 seconds and then a 10 second rest. So 20 seconds on, 10 second rest. This is a great fat burner. Definitely want to throw in some high intensity cardio when you're trying to burn that fat. Moving on to the last portion of the workout, which is the low intensity cardio. Right here you're seeing me do the row machine. I'm only doing seven minutes on the row machine. And you can do as long as you want. With this first week, we're only doing 15 minutes of cardio. So we're doing pretty much some low intensity for about seven minutes. And then we're doing some high intensity for about four minutes, four to five minutes. Now, with this workout, I did a little bit more cardio because I did seven minutes on this row machine and then you'll see me later on do right here you'll see me do seven minutes on the i mean eight minutes on the treadmill with a jog 
So that's 15 minutes of low intensity cardio right there. And you also saw those high knee sprints, which was five minutes. So this is a 20 minute cardio session. Day two and day three will not be the same. It will be 15 minutes of cardio. But that's it for the commentary, guys. Enjoy the rest of this video. To break it down, what is going to happen? This is the time to shred up, to cut weight, to drop fat, and to get ready for whatever it is you're going to get ready for in the next four weeks. 30 days, we're going to hit it hard. And I mean, that's just what it is. So we're setting the goal now. The goal has been set. We have 30 days to do it, so let's get it done. So what you guys need to do is find out what calories you're going to start with, and then each week drop the calories. I'm 5'10". I weigh 191.2 pounds. Oh, also, that's the starting weight, so 191.2 pounds this morning. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, gain, I gain weight fast. I can put on some fat fast, I can drop fat fast, drop weight fast. So that's what my body type is like. I guess it's called a mesomorph. So that's just me. So you can't really base your nutrition off of how I do it. You will have to find out in your own way, you know, um, and, and basically you can find out what your maintenance calories are, which means how many calories can you consume without losing or gaining weight, and then you can drop from there. So. You got to do some trial and error. You can hire a coach, hire me, and, you know, I can help you out with that as well. But uh, I'm here, so you won't have to pay any money. You can just do exactly what I do as far as the training goes. In nutrition, you can just play around with it, you know, do what you want to do. If you don't want to spend any money, just do what you want to do. But just follow my league, and I'm going to take you there. So 30 days, we're going to do it. Oh, excited. So excited. But anyways, I'm at home now whipping up a post-workout meal, so I'm going to show you guys what we got in a minute. And another thing, I apologize because you, this is Monday. This is Monday the 14th. I believe it's the 14th. Yep, Monday the 14th. You guys will not see this video until the end of the week. So go ahead and write down what I'm doing, and then you can start on Monday. So that's just what we're going to do. Sorry I'm giving it to you late, but I'm giving it to you now. Finally getting a post-workout meal. One cup of rice, brown rice, some asparagus, and two ribeye cut steaks, I believe. Nine and a half ounces. My pops grilled these up yesterday, so I know I had to get some. I'm going to throw some steak sauce on it. This is the Walmart version of Heinz I believe and that's going on there got some onions on there as well and have sparkling water this is my soda some good sparkling water cranberry raspberry got it from BJ's that's why it's uh, Wesley Farms Wellesley's Farms but anyways I'm gonna get this in and check with you guys in a bit Okay, the night is finito. Let me show you what I'm finishing off the night with. Finish my macros. Got five egg whites right here. I have a scoop and a half of the chocolate cookie BPI Way HD. So, getting my protein in from there. And then finishing off with this small box of Frosted Flakes. This used to be one of my top cereals back in the day. But, um... Let me show you guys what happened today, uh, as far as macros go. So this is what happened. I ate the, I ate those ribeye steaks way before I even tracked it, and I don't recommend you do that. So the problem with that is you'll eat something and then realize you couldn't afford to eat that based off of the macros, but it's too late. You can't get that food back. So that's why you should always track your food before you eat keep that in mind and you know I thought I don't know what I was thinking steak holds a lot of fat certain steaks and that steak which I think it was which was a ribeye cut steak hold a lot of fat but anyways this is what I have right here I'm going to show you guys so you are looking at the finishing product of the night 
which is 179 protein, 208 carb, and that is because I went over on the fat. So look at the fat, 81. So because I went over on fat, I went ahead and kept my carbs low. Protein is still, you know, fairly 180. But my carbs are not taking it to 275 because I want to make sure, I want to stay in the calorie, a certain calorie range. And this is 2300 by raising the fat and keeping the carbs low. Well, fairly low, 200. Keeps me at about 2300. And that's where I want to be. So 2300 carb. It wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to get closer to two forty to me two two forty. Twenty four hundred, but that's close enough for me. So I'm gonna leave it like that. But like I said, whenever you have more fat, just go ahead and eat less carbs. Or well, if you eat too many carbs, just cut back on the fats. I recommend keeping your protein the same at all times. That's why, you know, the one eighty range is good for me. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the morning. Get ready for tomorrow. Like I said, let's get serious. This is Let's Get Serious, episode one. So be looking out for episode two. Thank you for watching.